Hi, I'm Daniel Resnicek from Pacific Northwest Urology, and today I'm going to be explaining what's a ureteroscopy. Ureteroscopy can be broken down into two terms. One, ureter, which is the tube that connects the kidney to the bladder, and oscopy, which describes the medical term for examining a part of the body with a camera. So ureteroscopy is a physician using a camera to examine the ureter. Why perform a ureteroscopy? Ureteroscopy is most often performed when we are examining the ureter for a kidney stone in order to evaluate and treat the kidney stone or remove it. Ureteroscopy can also be performed for other reasons uh, to evaluate the ureter, for example, to see if there's any obstruction or to look for tumors. How is a ureteroscopy performed? A urologist uses a ureteroscope, which is a small flexible instrument that's advanced significantly over the last 40 years. This instrument is now flexible at the tip and can turn quite dramatically so it can effectively evaluate any portion of the urinary tract. This procedure is performed typically under general anesthesia in an outpatient surgical setting. It's minimally invasive, which means there are no incisions. The camera is inserted through the urethra into the bladder and up into the ureter. What are the risks of the procedure? Any surgery under general anesthesia has the risks of an anesthetic. There are also other some minor risks, including damage to the urethra, bladder, or ureter, although these are quite rare. Other risks include bleeding in the urine afterwards and urinary tract infection. And with any procedure, there might be some pain. What are some of the benefits of ureteroscopy? Compared to extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, ureteroscopy is about able to actually visualize the stone. And no matter the density of the stone, a laser is able to break up the stone into tiny pieces. What are some of the risks? Compared to shockwave lithotripsy, ureteroscopy is minimally invasive, while shockwave lithotripsy is oftentimes a non-invasive procedure. Each procedure has subtle advantages and disadvantages and depends entirely on a patient-by-patient -patient basis. You should talk to your urologist for more information.